as a retailer like you are saying that in years to come ai and algorithmic trading will completely take over already 60% of the volumes are done through algos and which will in the years to come will be almost 90 more than 90% will happen through algos so the retail trader if i want to start my journey i have a non tech background i don't know coding i don't know anything about programming how do i start this journey so that in the years to come i can also compete with people who are using algos so first of all um i think in time you'll have to learn less and less just like if you were in mumbai 15 years ago you would have had to know if you're driving in mumbai you would have had to know which flyover to take where to get off what the exit to take etc but today with google maps you don't worry your car figures it out or your mobile mm-hmm. will give you the directions you may never know the the directions from your home to your office at all you don't need to so same way if you are a retail investor or trader starting your journey today you you can skip the basics also you can skip the basics that uh, let's say you are an option trader today an option trader would know what is a call what is a put how do you make the combinations what are the payoff curves what are the margin requirements what is a span margin what is the cost of trading etc etc they have to remember or, and learn all these things because they play a part of your trading today if i'm starting option trading i don't need to worry about any of this i just need to have a view in the morning i'm bullish nifty make me a strategy it says okay i make you this strategy okay hedge it in case the market goes the other way it'll hedge it i will do everything so frankly you'll have to remember and learn less and less just like with google maps as an example um so frankly if you're starting today you just need to learn how to get the best ai how to uh, you know back test and basic things the details of trading risk details of coding python or anything i don't think any human will need to learn any more i think machines are going to do it better faster cheaper so frankly you don't you can skip all that today so i don't need to learn programming i just need to be able to give better inputs yeah. to the ai engine yes learn learn to work with ai better faster smarter that's all you need and that comes with little bit of usage experience etc in time you'll get there yes but hmm. okay and uh, see currently you said that a lot of institutions are already using algos so the retail trader if i'm moving towards ai based trading or algorithmic trading uh do you think as a retailer is it possible to compete with this big institutions with just like putting some normal inputs or i need to know something different so uh w- i think ai is here to democratize intelligence what it means is today if there's a fund manager at kotak i'm taking kotak as an example it's coming to me kotak or hcfc um the fund manager will have access to bloomberg they will have access to a lot of analysts they'll have a lot of sell side broker analysts who are giving them reports and data and information etc based on that the kotak fund manager with their experience is making a big call that my portfolio should have 1000 crores in reliance or 2000 crores in tata motors or something they have access to all this information intelligence at a very expensive cost it cost them crores of rupees to get all this whereas a retail investor individual like me may have access to no intelligence beyond a point i just get google news right or i read times of india which come on economic times a day later when something has happened with ai the difference between the difference of intelligence and processing and analytics and insights that a fund manager has and that i have will be reduced to dramatically zero eventually eventually it may take time fund managers may say oh i know the management i know this i know that surely maybe they add some value but eventually at 20 dollars per day, per uh, uh, per month i can get access to very similar intelligence using ai so frankly if anything ai is here to help retail investors and traders become more like institutional investors and traders at a very low additional fraction of a cost so it will certainly help the retail market i think okay so as a retailer i think ai the boom will in trading will definitely benefit the retailer yes and it will change the way they are currently trading correct uh, one more follow up question to that like uh, we have seen lot of black swans happening over the years uh, can ai also help in predicting those black swan or is it not uh, suitable to pr- predict market scenarios so um little hard for now to foresee that eventually at some point yes it's possible 
the 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 problem with the market is that a markets are not always rational markets have lot of sentiments built in uh and now with algo ai humans institutions retail so many different participants looking at it coming at it differently it will make it maybe a little more complex than than not so it may be a little hard as of now for me to foresee that ai can predict the black swan events they will keep happening for sure that's how the world has evolved that's how capitalism works uh but eventually some day when you have like what they call after ai you have agi and asi which is like super intelligence which can see everything through god like intelligence it can figure everything out before it happens some day possibly technically it's possible i i think but in the near future short short term mid term i don't see it happening yet i think it's uh, way too complex for now okay and kunal there was a sebi report which says that 90% traders do not make money right and the major reasons for that are that its emotions come in they do not follow rules with the advent of this machine learning ai in trading what do you think in the future like will retailers be like this number is going to improve that like more retailers will be successful what are your thoughts on that uh definitely i think algo trading alone without even ai when allowed for retail yes. investors and traders will certainly help in improve their chances or reduce their losses so number 1 in the report uh where it said that 90% retail yeah. uh, traders lose money uh number 1 it should take into it does take into account that most of the losses go towards funding the exchange cost and the regulatory costs the the stt this yes. the, the various transaction charges right number 1 which is here and it will likely stay uh number 2 people lose money because of the first example i had given of the simplest trade that they get emotional about their positions yes. and they hold on for too long right uh, certainly if they were to use algos their uh, losses may be reduced shall be reduced and they are likely to not be 90% but maybe bit less than 90% now does it become 70% or 80% we don't know but just understand this in the whole world whether you go to a i'm probably taking a wrong example casino or whether you go to dream 11 most retail always lose money yes that is primarily driven by their sentiments algos if anything are remo- removing the sentiments or reducing them to a large extent so algos definitely help ai with that level of intelligence access available to them if they can use learn to use it well surely they will lose less so i believe i hope it is a brighter future for the retail investors and traders in the future when algo trading is accessible to them ai gives them lot more uh, data and intelligence and access I think uh, they they should hopefully in the next few years lose less and less and maybe make more and more. Okay, but uh, okay. So now we spoke about the benefits of AI, right? Uh, I want to know what are the challenges that like you are facing or someone would face if they want to train an AI model for trading. What are the challenges? Could be price data, could be curve fitting. So I think challenges, uh, frankly, because of the global investment going into the AI platforms. So think about every year now they are looking at hundreds of billions of dollars yes. going into AI platforms like OpenAI, Cursor, so many others. Uh, I think those platforms make intelli- AI access very cheap for a an individual who's trying to use it or a company like ours who's trying to use it. Um, there is challenges just time for taken into learning how to train the AI. the biggest thing humans have to learn is how to interact with ai the way i'm speaking with you may not be the same way i'll speak with an ai yes in some sense because ai is more logical more machine driven it has lesser filters it is smarter better at interpreting things so i just have to find time into training ai into the things i know and then let it also expand its horizon and learn beyond what i know because surely there's lot more than i know uh, so challenge is just humans and ai and data aligning together but it's not a insurmountable challenge it is a manageable thing i think i think it's it will fall in place not a big challenge it will be there it is here it is here to stay and it is here to change the course of humanity for sure including financial markets okay and one example which comes to my mind is what happened with night capital like they had some algo error and that like basically uh, the company went bankrupt uh, so i want to like with see with uh, like lot of technology development ha- happening there's also a flip side a lot of challenges also to it So, what are the risks you see of using AI in algorithmic trading? Do, does the human intervention needs to be there, or it can be completely automated? 
so it's just like um uh, first of all these challenges remain with technology if if technology is deployed appropriately and smartly it can help reduce these challenges and increase them but surely a misdeployment or a wrong uh, coding or a wrong uh, uh, input can trigger certain scenarios and that is possible but i think if you have a strong risk management so what is a risk management a broker goes to an exchange and says this is my margin let's say 100 crore rupees i'm willing to lose no more than 100 crores ever me as a client i go to the broker i say this is my margin to you 1 crore and i'm willing to lose nothing more than 1 crore then i have 10 clients from whom i borrowed and each of them says 10 lakh each this is my margin to you now as long as the stop losses are met the triggers are met the risk management is met the trades are done only within the defined framework i think it's manageable risk with more and more technology of course the number of trades will increase the number of situations may increase and some black swan event may appear mm. but as long as the risk management is equally done with ai so you don't have we don't have to think about just the investor or the trader getting access to ai but also the surveillance at exchange or regulator level the risk management at exchange or surveillance or the regulator level all those will have to have a portion of ai they will have to use ai to identify the any potential challenges any potential uh, 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 manipulations in the market etc so ai will have to be used everywhere and it is available it is accessible only 20 dollars a month it's peanuts everyone can and should use it ai make it your friend Not, uh, it it is there to help everyone eventually i think it will reduce the scenarios like night capital which happened yes because night capital scenario was actually Can a deploy just uh, elaborate on what actually happened with so night, night capital i uh, it was a fund in us it lost about 600 million dollars in about 45 minutes or so so what happened was they had deployed a new version of their trading software one of the days um and when they deployed the deployment had some issue in which the fill from the exchange was not coming back so let's say i send an order to the exchange buy me this microsoft stock for 100 dollars 1000 dollars it never sent the fill back because the fill message was not appropriately interpreted by the machine but the algo knew that i have to buy the stock it kept on sending buy orders ignoring the fills eventually it ended up buying so much that the price went against it and when it went to hedge and it was not microsoft share it was something else Uh, whatever they were trading so they they had a misdeployment of a software upgrade in which the fills were missed and because the fills were missed it kept on trading until uh, they were down 600 million dollars in positions or it took them long to square off their position that they didn't want to hold something like that had happened uh, that was in 20 2009 i believe long ago Uh, but yeah such scenarios keep happening in india also it's happened bunch of times but uh, i think if anything ai more than ai trading itself rules themselves risk management uh, machine learning ai algo trading everything can be enhanced to to use technology uh, just like would you have flown 100 years ago on a plane today everyone flies on a plane there's always a risk one in a million plane also goes down yes. one in a million or a billion right unfortunate but it happens so surely uh, it's one of those things which is here to help us as long as we can manage the risk uh, reasonably well and focus enough on it i think um, such scenarios are avoidable to a large extent but periodically once in a while this still will happen in some sense and we just have to minimize the damage <laughs>